Hey fellow YouTubers and RC Airplane guys, this is uh, NC Flyer 79 from RC Groups with another unboxing. Today I have got the Phoenix Models 20cc FW190. Um, I recently uh, became a big fan of these Phoenix Models. I bought their Zero, 20cc Zero, that's it leaned up over there. Next to my, it's a Hangar 9 P47, but um, I got that. I've been flying it. Super impressed with the build quality and all the hardware it comes with it. Um, I think for the money, I don't think you can beat these. I got this at Tower Hobbies with the coupon codes and a loyalty discount code. I ended up getting it for like $340, which I think is a steal for planes like this. But um, anyway, this is it. And let me go over what you're going to get in the box. I've done got everything out and laid out. Um, Everything came very well packaged in the box and taped down. Uh, everything inside was covered in this foam stuff. And then every, then on top of that was this clear um, grocery store bag type stuff. So it, everything was very well packaged, no damage at all. So anyways, uh, this is it. One of the first things you'll notice about Phoenix models is, um, is their pilots. Their pilots suck. But it's very easy, easily remedied. So I'm going to go in here. This is already done from the factory. I'm going to take this off. He's actually not bad. He's not great, but he's not bad. I'm going to repaint him in Luftwaffe Pilot Colors and put the canopy back on and be done with it. So this is a 20cc size model. It's not a top, top gun candidate. And I'm not going to go scale crazy with it on stuff like that. So... Anyways, um, this is some things that come in the package with it. Gun blisters. Now, these you got to cut out, and they'll mount right up there. I'm not real sure why they're painted black. I'll have to look and see. I may end up painting that to match this gray up here um, and paint them to get rid of this black. I'm not real crazy about that. Um, anyway, see so here's the rudder. It does have the nice hinges on it. And this is solid. It's, there's no cheater holes in it. It's fully, fully, uh, fully covered, fully sheeted. Well, actually, I take that back. There are some little, little bitty tiny holes. So, excuse me, there are some. You can see them in the light. Um, but uh, it's very good quality. I don't know if these are already epoxied in place or not. And I'll probably give a good tug on them, make sure, and use some... 30 minute epoxy on those hinges. So, um, elevator. Yes, the elevator is flat. It is not air fold, which that does not bother me a bit. Um, this has your traditional CA hinges, obviously. Um, this definitely is not fully sheeted, but there's not a whole lot of open room in there either. So it looks pretty dang strong. Um, the Zero is, the, the build quality on the Zero is the same way, and I've been flying the crap out of it, and I've had no issues at all. So, um, some other goodies. This is the uh, Cal uh, dummy, dummy radial and fan. Actually, it's just a fan, FW fan. I know some people that I saw were not crazy about that, but I think it could be painted and be, be made to use. Um, these are the black exhausts. I don't know if you can see, but you can go in here and cut this out right here and glue these in for a little bit more, more scale fidelity. So I might probably end up doing that. Um, gear doors. Can't tell. Those actually might be fiberglass. I can't really tell. Hardware package. This looks like it's for, um... Uh, your electric motor, if you want to go electric. I've been an electric flyer for the past five, six years. Before that, I flew glow and gas, and now I'm slowly getting back into gas motors. So this will probably be getting a, uh, a DLE 20 or RCGF 26cc. I'm not sure yet, but anyway, there's that. Um, here are the big huge wheel wells that you can cut out and put in so 
this thing, if it's just like the Zero, which it is, it's got all this, all this good um, big wheels and stuff in it. There's the uh, uh, plywood plate it goes to help hold the wings on. Hardware, same style hinges as the Zero. Um, hardware package looks awesome. And I, I use all this stuff. I don't mind it. Some people might not want to do it, but I, I don't mind it. Um, not real sure what those are. Push rods. Those are some heavy duty push rods. Those actually might be, wow, actually it looks like 440 maybe. I can't tell. That's probably for the aileron or the flaps or maybe both. Um, tail wheel. Yeah, tail wheel's not scale, but again, I don't, I don't care. I'll trade good ground handling for that. Um, this is the stopper for the fuel tank. I don't think it's uh, gas compatible, so I probably will be exchanging that out. Don't. So, let's see if I read up. Here are the wheels. Yeah, these are the same exact wheels the Zero has, and they hold up great. These are probably. These look about like a four inch wheel. They're they're pretty stiff. Um, I like them, you know. Definitely not a not enough to make me want to get different ones. Spinner, traditional plastic spinner, two blade. Um, it looks scale enough for a 190 spinner, so definitely probably be using that as well. Motor mount, traditional. Beam, motor mount, hardware, and everything. Like I said, guys, the uh, looks like they've got some really good hardware with it. If it's there's a uh, template as a piece of fiberglass. I'm not sure what that's for. I'll have to read up on it. There's your motor guides that tell you where to drill the firewall. Um, it's a DLE 20, which is probably what I'm going to go with, and an OS 120. I'm not sure what this piece here is, but hopefully directions will tell me. If not, I'll figure it out. Fuel tank, very traditional fuel tank. Not sure of the size, probably 12 ounces if I had to guess. Uh, a lot of guys just throw these away. They don't use them. I'll probably end up using it. Um, the clear ones are nice, but I don't know. I just like using the stuff that comes with the plane. So I guess I have a lot of faith in manufacturers. That's what they include. So um, here is the cow. Cow is a good size. The cow's gonna be huge. You could probably, honest, like a DLE 20 will fit no problem. Obviously, electric wheel if you want to go that route. Um, honestly, it's like you could probably mount a 30 in there as big as it is. So, gorgeous painted. They did a good job on the paint and stuff with it. So, looks like it matches the fuselage pretty good too. So, that's, that's good to know. I'll probably take this out to um, Home Depot or Lowe's and get them to paint to match this gray up and paint those gun blisters so all right um let's see what else we got shows you the elevator the rudder um push rods let's take a look at these push rods this is push rods for the elevator to rudder and the throttle are definitely going to be 256 but that's fine this is really all this bird needs um, heavy duty aluminum wing spar. Some guys like to change that out for carbon fiber. I'm, I'm not. I'll use it. it. Looks like it's gonna work fine for me. So yeah. Um, get forward to that. The wings. Wings are really really nice. I'm only gonna show one because they're both the same. But um, the wings. You see all the nice. Um, Rivets, panel line details. Some guys may think it's overdone. It probably is, but it looks cool. I'd rather have them on there than just plain Jane monocoat or ultra coat. So uh, all, now these graphics are all printed on, which is nice. These um, these planes are almost identical. You, there's just certain design and build cues in these things that you can tell. That are real close to like my Hangar 9 P47 over there. 
that um, I'm pretty sure these guys build all of Hangar 9 stuff. So uh, here's the bottom. Again, these are your servo hatches. You've got your robot, I, I don't know, really know what those are called. I guess they're pin style hinges. Um, on your ailerons, you've got your pin style hinges, just like the Zero. This thing is almost identical to the Zero build, which the Zero went together fantastic. So um, the covering is a, a sticky type stuff, just like the Hangar 9 birds. The Zero is the same way. And um, I've not had any issues with it so far um peeling up or anything so i'm gonna keep using it but um a uh, huge cutout here for those retract uh, wheel bays and you just go in here with a knife and cut this out up through here sorry i'm not a master with the camera guys so bear with me cut this out go up through here call this out put your retracts in See down in the wing right there. Looks like good old a piece of wood right there. It's looks like a splinter a little bit. No big deal. It's not broke. Again, I always go through all my planes anyway with CA and anywhere I can get some CA, I do. Um, should cut out some of the top of the wing where you pull your servo wires through. Um, so yeah, there's. There's a wing. The whole wing itself is fully sheeted on top as well as the bottom. So that's nice. I do like that a lot. All right. Next is the fuselage. So uh, again, the fuselage, it's fully sheeted, obviously. Uh, the ugly pilot. Ignore the pilot, but I mean, there's some decent cockpit detail in there. And like I said, I'm going to cut this off and paint him. I think and make if I paint him in basic uh, lift off of colors, I think he'll work fine for me. I'm not really worried about it. Um, I did one notice one thing in the manual. One of the first things they have you do in a manual is glue in. Hang on, excuse me, guys. Is glue in these triangle stock pieces. They want you to paint all of this gray. Well, it looks like they went ahead and done that for you from the factory, just like the, the Zero was the same way. So you've got, you've got your holes right here to mount your gas motor. You just put your template up there, mark it, drill it, good to go. So um, for a, it's got a hatch. So if you do want to go electric, this hatch just comes right off. I mean, you can get inside there. Again, I'll put CA all over the place. Probably end up putting a coating of um, epoxy on and all that. So there's your battery tray. Places in there to mount all kind of goodies. I just have to see when I start building it where I'm going to put everything. So pretty sweet. Up underneath it. It's really light. Fuselage has no weight either. Is kind of nice so um yeah there's the bottom of the pilot so if you do want to cut him out you can go right or just all you gotta do is just cut around there with the exacto knife and he'll pop right out but i'm not going to do that i'm going to use him so yeah you can see see the build quality again a lot of this reminds me of uh let me turn around so you can see back down in there a lot of this reminds me of the hangar nine planes to be honest so I'm, I, I feel pretty confident in saying that these things come from the same factory, but everything looks like it's glued really good. Nothing's loose. I always go through and check everything to double, double check to make sure everything's glued. I always go over all my planes with some thin CA just to double check it. So, yep. So that's it. That's the unboxing. Um, for servos, uh, I'm going to go gas with this bird probably daily 20 uh for servos i'm gonna go with my usual high-tech 645 metal gears in it's more than it needs but uh that's what i'm gonna use so the last and final thing which to me is probably the best feature on these phoenix bird are the retracts that they give you with it so 
Um, these are the retracts. Now I know when these things first come out, some guys online had mechanical retracts. Well, now they're giving you electric retracts with it. And these things are really beefy. This is the same ones I got in the Zero. They work awesome. They're super beefy. I've had zero issues with out of the Zero with it so far. Uh, they, they, help, they hold up fine at my field. And I have a grass field, so it's just like a normal guy's grass field. So um, these work great. The big old motors on them and everything. So um, the cool thing about these is they, they run on a separate retract controller and this is what it is this is the phoenix model retract controller now i'm 99.9 .9 sure that these retracts are made by jp and this just mounts somewhere in the fuse you can see it's got little mountain holes. So you just, you mount that down and then plug your retracts into it whenever you put your wing on. One goes into your right retract, left retract, because it don't matter. And then your your nose, if you had a retract or, or a plant that had a nose gear. So that's a little small XT30, I think is what it is. So if you got a XT60 battery already, you can just plug straight into it and you're good to go and power these things completely separate which i think is awesome um, you don't have to worry about one going up one coming down or anything like that with some of those regular retracts with micro switches so but um yeah these are pretty beefy retracts i've been really impressed with them on the zero and they give you these with it now so um yeah i'm you know pretty pretty stoked about it so it's going to be a while before i can get to get this thing built i will do a Another video probably whenever I get her built and go over everything, what I like, what I didn't like. Um, again, if it's just like the zero, it's gonna it's gonna go together quick. I just gotta get everything here. It's the middle of summer, probably not gonna have a maiden until August, maybe Labor Day at this point. So yeah, that's it guys. Um hope you like it. I'll be doing um a posting a bunch of pictures up on the fuel warbird section on rc groups there's a thread already started so i'll be adding to that so you can if you want to follow along with my build you can do that and i'll add some pictures as i go as well too so uh, if you got any questions or anything don't hesitate shoot me a message thanks a lot see you guys later